Smith Scoopy. Man, nigga, pop your door open. I'm here to help you, man. Open the door. The guy don't trust you, you. Man, are you Senator Tenbury Well, son? You are wasting time, man. We ain't got no time. Are you well, son? Tell me. Look, I, I don't understand you. What, what is it you want? In five minutes, they're going to break into this lodge. The whole front of this lodge is covered up. If you don't live here now, I am only here to help you out of a bad situation. Tell me, are you well, son? Every day you sit down watching the television, the National Youth Service Corps. These are people that are supposed to be revered, respected because of their patriotism. Little do you know they are being sent to the pit of hell and in their pit to survive. We do the unthinkable. Things we never imagined we could do. What I was thinking at that moment was survival. We are faced with death. The desperation to survive brings us into the supernatural. Even in the midst of all my sanity, I, I was still insane. I noticed us almost having catatonic schizophrenia. Kazim was going mad. But this is not what I bargained for. This is not what I've gone to the market to buy. I only came to serve my fatherland. Only to find myself between the devil and the deep blue sea. I had to survive. It is only a tree when head is going to be cut down stems. But as a human being with a great instinct, I had to survive. Oh, I can't be you! I can't! No! You can never be that! Never! You will fight. I practically hand an empire over to you. What do you do? You turn it down and chose dancing on the street like an uneducated street dog. Tom, please calm down. Calm down. No, no! Leave me. Leave me! Leave me! Let me talk to this idiot. I am sick and tired of your foolishness. Yes! Every young star out there is wishing to be in your position. Do you know what doors being my son can open to you? Do you know? Do you know what, Dad? Your name has become an albatross around my neck. You know why? 
Nobody's expecting me to be me. Everybody's expecting me to be your son. So why is that so disgusting? What? Do you need me to bring you a mirror for me to explain better? I have become reprehensible before you. Because I studied, I studied theater arts. And you called me a failure? Because I chose a career that suits me by dancing? No, Dad. I'm not a failure. You are. Benjamin, apologize to your father at once. No, Mama, I refused. I refuse to be sucked into the filth it's like this. I'm done being your son. You want your son to carry your bloodstained name? To kill and maim and plunder just like you do? All because of politics? I refuse to be that son. I'm sorry. Not for all the money and political clout in the world. I'm done. Benjamin! Benjamin, come back here! Ben, come back here! A true decision is measured when action has been taken. If you've not taken action, then you've not truly really decided. No, 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 no. My brother. Listening to them argue that day, it was clear. It was time for me to move yet again. It's either he leaves or I leave. Nobody's leaving the town. We'll see about that. Moving at that point of my service, it wasn't very easy for me. Kazim? Kazim? Where are you going to? Kazim? Kazim? Kenneth was very good to me. He was almost a brother to me. I love him. He tried to stop me. Cousin, where are you going? But he couldn't. Cousin? I had already made up my mind to move. I could have chosen to stay. But for the wife, Susan. She was one hell of a character. She was so, so self centered I mean. I couldn't just stand her again. I had to leave. I had to move out from that house. I needed peace. I just needed to cool my head. Because I was losing it. With all the pride I could muster from my almost empty pocket and duffel bag, I stepped into a Jimiko local government. The stench that greeted my nose was a jolt back to the reality of the fact that things was not going to get better. Wet gutters. Busy street. 
naked kids. All these are sight that greeted me. And so, but I didn't know it was about to get worse in the most unbelievable fashion. The hungry, worn out, yet satisfied faces I saw filled my mind. I had to call Luke and feed him with the gory. For the people I saw, they closed the exciting I details. Dead. I just hope I could still meet anybody by the time I was there. Sorry, let me call you back. Excuse me, what is it? You are blocking my way. You want my phone? Why, 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 why would you demand for my phone? Did you buy any phone for me? Oh boy, I beg, please. Just get away. I want to, I want to go where I'm going. What's the meaning of this? And then it happened. You're embarrassing me. What's the meaning of this? Even when I had stopped the young lad, my survival instincts were at the full throttle. I had to leave all that behind me and move on. It wasn't really easy to do that though. It wasn't really easy. Meet Ben. I met him first at the orientation camp. He was an average, cute, and perhaps lover boy. A perfect woman's man. I felt I was lucky to have him as a lodge mate. Yes, I was lucky to have him as a lodge mate because he looked like he loved spending money and you know Kazim I love spending money Peroski! Peroski! Hey, this man! What's up? Perola! Kazim! Perola! Kazim! Peroski! Oh, well, you know what? You don't say I can't have the flat for her. Ah, look, you know what? Well, the fact remains that this dog is beginning to make some sense. You see that? Honestly speaking, when the vice principal mentioned Kazimo Lifer, honestly speaking, you know, to my mind, you have a case. Hey, hey. Oh, boy, this place is Chris. Man. Chris, you. The dog is oh, How many of us there? Hey, there's some more than three babes here. Ah. Hey, who said it makes sense? <laughs> but on a more serious note, this place was so filthy. I had to just pick it up a little. Ah. Come in and see. <laughs> Benola, la. Benola, la. This man. It is said that every gator has a thing. Here, it was scoopy. What the hell is this? Nangela now, Nangela. You don't know, give me work, and I got to say, this, my mother's 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 He looked like he talked straight out of the poorest suburb. Yet, he sounded like a rapper straight out of the city of New York. What the fuck that got to do with me? I'm asking you, nigga, are you out of your mind? What I got to do with that? Angie! NG! NG! Every motherfucking day! That's all I hear! Nigga, you about losing it, man. Hey, Conga. Nigga, boss. Go get me NG right now. Go get NG. It wasn't long after we arrived that we met and saw him. He was quite a fascinating character. Nigga, boss, number four. <laughs> hey yo, nigga boy. That nigga Kunga think I'm a dumbass motherfucker like him. Kunga and Angie pulling the fast one on me. 
That nigga banging that pussy, man. He up in that hole, nigga. I'm trying to tell you. Oh, but you think, you think I'm a dumbass? Me, Scoopy. I run the hole, brother. You know how we do. Nigga boy. Hey, I will. I want you to go down to Angie's place right now. Make sure you get there before that nigga, you know, Conga goods there, all right? You know what to do. Yes, you go. That's my nigga boy. Yes, you go. That's my nigga boy. No, no. My nigga boss! My nigga boss! I'm gonna turn the fire in the Hey, yo! Meet the girls. Ada was unpredictable. Now sit down and learn how the professionals do it. She seemed off at times. Hear me? You want some collabo? She need them badly be like Tonado. She talks say how they play like Ronaldo. They think they sweeter like Don Jose Minado. Eminado. We can go Monaco. Remy was a softy with no stomach for stress or anything related. And Stella. <laughs> oh, Stella, Stella. An absolute crackhead. She loved drinking, partying, fun. She was just the fun type and anything that comes with it that was Stella <laughs> served as coppers at St. Joseph Secondary School. Can't say the experience was high tech. But like every other thing in this place, it was formed in a weighed manner. Wow, um, I've seen you. And calm. I have seen what you can do. Want to show the show off how it's done? Can I see them? No. What is this? Gentleman's hour? Well, I don't know what you saw, but that definitely wasn't all that. Kaz and I are hitting the town. Girls, want anything? Why don't we all go check out the scenery and catch some fun? In this neighborhood? What is wrong with the neighborhood? No, no, no. Really? I'm off with you guys. You're good. Out, out, out. Thank you. We need ladies that can See wipe you. their tails, anyways. Let's go.
Wafe Wafe Jokunio, Wafe Wafe Jokunio, Wafe Olon Tibao Kwe Lotimu, Wafe Yokunio, Wafe Vitele Tele Meni Kobo Kobo, Odi Jelly Jelly, Semo Kobo Kobo, Nia Nuti Shele, Moti Robo Robo, Now they want to follow me to Koro Koro, Mr. DJ, Oya Dakoda, I'm not joking, no be Awada, Yes it's a night, Omo Klobu, Gorama Pato, Toto Nobu, Eh, and DJ Nesi, Omo Pato, Tom Pato, Hey, when she said bounce, you bounce. Oh, yeah. What you looking at me like that for? I've been trying to call your number. For the past motherfucking hours, man. As a matter of fact, since yesterday I've been calling. What the fuck y'all be doing? What did I hear say happened to Angela? Scoping, I'm here, you did follow me and me. I say, what did happen to Angela? Okay. I say, you go to BRB. I saw you go to BRB. Come here, bitch. I said, come here, bitch. Give you the chance. You don't want to take that motherfucking chance. What else you want me to do for you? Huh? Hey man, let me tell you something. If y'all don't want to wake up, I'm fetching the motherfucking light, man. Ain't nobody gonna spoil my game. Did I make myself clear? Yes, sir. I may be old school, but I still got some game in me, though. All you gotta do is look at me. You know what I'm saying? Let's run okay. That's what I'm talking about. Let me do. Go ahead.
My baby, I'll smile If I pass on the whole line My baby, I'll sing My baby, I'm ready to When you're ready to burn up the place We burn up the place When you're ready to shake up the place We shake up the place When you're ready to shut down the place I ask you, what you do, Angela? <laughs> Angela's case is just a little issue, man. But it's a lesson for each and every one of you. Because nobody fucks with Scoopy and get away with it. Alright? She be no say Angela gets six brothers. Go get one sister joint. If they chop for the house, Angela. If they pay less, she they do one. Even if they go school, she they do everything. So you want to make the male take the wrong the parents now? How you want me to do one? Just fucking hear yourself out. Angela knew all this shit you talking out of your mouth. She went and heard I was running things behind my back. With that nigga they call Kunga. This is my domain. This is my ghetto. Nobody fucks with me. Alright? See me I they tell you my mind though. I'm not bad this thing where you do at all. I'm not bad one. I don't like him at all. Come here. After I say come here. I'm fucking you, come here. Baby, listen, whatever that happens, already happens. That's over. As far as the mother, I promise you, I'm going to take care of her. You know what I can do. Come on, now. Nah. But if I not just do I'm like that, now. Nah, oh, come me. on, baby, enough is enough. No more, baby. I've missed you. Let's forget what happened, I. Right? Don't you knock? What were those? Nothing. Come on, you can tell me. Stella, I want you to tell me. I said they were nothing. So back off. Seriously? Sorry. Wait, Stella. Um, I'm really sorry. Um, we're also drugs. I felt an attack coming, so. Hmm. Well, that explains the crackiness. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Aren't you going to take the drugs anymore? No, you know what? I feel really better right now, so. Um, Where's Remy? I, I think she's outside. No, let's hang out. We should go hang out. Ah. Yes. Let's Serious? Go. Yes. Okay, okay. Yes. You okay? I'm okay. How are you finding your things so far? I hope this letter are not getting you. No, they are not. Mm. Thanks for asking anyway. Um, I the meaning to talk to you. I hope there is no problem. No, 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 no. Okay. It's just that you strike me like the kind of woman that knows how to have fun. <laughs> so I was wondering if you would like to hang out with me this evening. I have a special present for you. And you're really? going to like it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will be on my way. I'll see you then, okay? I will pick you up from the Tapas Lodge. No problem. Just evening. Take care.
sir. How are you? Hi, sir. I noticed on the man it's not school today. She's sick, sir. Sick? Yes, sir. Do, do you know where she stays? No, sir. Sir, I know the area, sir. Oh, oh, you know the area? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Make sure you see me after after school, okay? Yes, sir. Before you go home, see me. Yes, sir. What else do you want me to say? I was in class. I saw your missed calls. Wally, what is it? Is there something else going on? Is there something you are not telling me? Hey, brother. Oh, obviously you cannot stand to your family. I'm eh? so tired. You cannot stand to your family. It's my wedding we are talking about. Not your sister's wedding. Not you. No, not your brother's wedding. It's my wedding. Not you. Even your mother's wedding. So your mom is also going to choose my wedding car? My underwear? No. Just tell her to hold on until I say it. Yes. I'll be coming to Lagos by the end of the month. Yeah, wh whatever. Huh? More wedding issues? Is it not Wally's mom? She just will not choose everything. My wedding gown, the colors, the, the hall, everything. I'm just tired of this whole thing. Huh? Girlfriend, just take it easy, okay? Take it easy so you don't lose your man over this, okay? Take it easy. How do you mean? Girl, you were yelling into the phone. Seriously. Oh, that. How was school today? My dear, school was fine. <laughs> Let me give you a gist. <laughs> you remember that um, geography teacher, that young, handsome looking geography teacher? What is that his name again? Um, is he. Mm -hmm. Whatever his name is. <laughs> My dear, do you know that he asked me out today? Mm -hmm. And he promised to give me something. Will you go? Of course, I will go. Hmm. These stuffy guys won't let us dance or have fun. Let me tell you they are with the attitude of a big brother act. I will take my phone anywhere I can find it. Seriously. Ha. Just be careful. Mm, I hear you. Come, where is that guy? I'm starving. The day I found out Ben's true identity, I felt it was the best thing I had ever read of any magazine. Ben. Cousin, I'm so hungry and tired, man. So, you are Senator Tom by Welsh's son? He was the son of the most wanted, most controversial Senator of the Federal Republic. Who told you that? No wonder he tried so hard to hide his true identity from us. You just told my Maxine, Ben. See, Kasim, please. I want it to be secret, okay? Can I, I think I need to borrow this permanently. Wow. So your dad is actually Senator Wells, as in the Senator Wells. Kasim, see, please. I want it to be secret between us, okay? Afraid of being kidnapped, amongst other things. It's okay, I, I got it. Don't worry, you're my friend. I'll keep it a secret. But the magazine said you guys had a falling out. My father and I don't see eye to eye. Reasons best known to me. But please, just keep it within yourself. I don't want to talk about it again. Okay, they don't even know that I am serving here. They think I, I serve in Lagos. Oh, you rich boys are very weight. You actually had the opportunity to serve in Lagos and, and you chose this dumb Ben? Kazi, it's okay. Look, I'm very hungry. Can, can we go to Mama Put and eat? I, I'm willing to eat with her plates, please. Uh, Anyway, I'm, I'm with you on that. But you are being which boy? Stop. Senator Wells. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Richie, Richie. Richie, Richie. 
Kasim, let's go and eat. Sorry. <laughs> Drink up. You know, they call me Stella. Stella the Prince. If you know me, you don't have a problem with me. Hmm. I solve all your problems. Is it now? Where are you going to? I'm here with you. Uh -uh. Oh yes. Mbo. Three. Okay, this one is two. Ah, uh, oh, God. This one. Ah, uh, <laughs> my man. <laughs>